Good morning, everybody. We're a little ways down the road already. We're in West Virginia. We just entered West Virginia from Pennsylvania. Just stopped here for a coffee. Been driving uh, for a couple of hours today already, or two hours. And I want to get us far down towards Gainesville, uh, not Gainesville, uh, Waynesboro, Georgia, as I can. We're gonna have a reset there. We're gonna be parked for tomorrow. And I want to be at a decent truck stop where I can do my laundry and uh, be comfortable, have a shower, you know. And a motorcycle. This is like a blind corner here. This is kind of dangerous. Slowly edge forward. Slowly edge forward. Okay, we're good. Up 200 meters, turn left on. Goshen Road, CR 77 and then take the entrance to the right in 130 meters. So we'll get ourselves back onto Interstate 79 South. We'll be on our way. We are apparently leaving the interstate. In 200 meters, slight right on Upper Mill Creek Road, US 19 and then slight right in 160 meters. And what is that? US 19? Here in West Virginia? What a beautiful state. What a beautiful, isn't there a song about it? Country Road, take me home. Right? West Virginia! Something, something, there's a song about it. Yeah, no. Beautiful state. I love the rolling hills. Pardon me, mountains, I keep forgetting. Continue on this road for 108 kilometers. I keep forgetting, they're mountains. The West Virginia mountains, but they're, they're all green. No snow on top. Beautiful place. And the way they build their civilization, like right into like the sides of the mountains and like all over on top of them and everything, it's just incredible. This would be a, a, a fun state to go through the back country on a motorcycle, on like a motorcycle tour. I think. And if I had unlimited time and money, I'd take I'd take a, a month off and just go wandering around. I got friends that live in Virginia, just over here, the, the real Virginia, over the, the other Virginia. Uh, it's not East Virginia, it's just Virginia. I got friends who live in the, and there's a Moses and Colleen. I'll probably be going pretty close by their by their house on this trip. I think they're on holidays right now though. Good for them. They just had their second baby. The last time we hung out with them both in person was before they even had their first. That's how long it's been. That's a crime. We need to come and hang out with them. I've been meaning, well, we've been meaning to come down for years now, but every year it seems something comes up like the other year it was, or last year it was our roof. That came up, we couldn't come down. And this year it's the virus. Couldn't come down and visit. And we're also trying to plan a trip over to, uh, over to the other side of the pond as well, out to, uh, you know, Ireland, UK, and Europe. And we're uh, beginning to realize that we can't do everything. We want to, but time flies so quickly. see what happens but this is one beautiful area of the United States uh oh there go the cops someone's getting a spanking go get him boys
are joining the freeway, I believe, I-64. This is Easy Pass, right? They got an Easy Pass here? Yes. Okay, good. I don't carry cash with me. Oh, yeah, there it says Easy Pass. Speed limit, 5 miles an hour. Green light, there we go. All right, they have our money. Now, let's see what we get for it. You think it's going to be a nice highway? It's been a beautiful day today, just a gorgeous. We've been getting a lot of rain back at home. There's actually been some flooding in southern Manitoba. It hasn't affected us, but uh, it's been affecting people we know. It's been getting a lot more rain than usual. For the last several years, we've had droughts. Now we're getting lots and lots of rain. This guy left his lights on on the back of his truck backup lights or something <laughs> we're here in uh, North Carolina we're coming up to Charlotte North Carolina I'm gonna go through the city and a little bit south of that and there's a flying J just south of the city in South Carolina and uh, that's where we're going to be stopping for our reset I believe it's a flying J I hope I'll find a parking spot there I mean it's gonna be about 9 15 9 30 I hope that uh, Hope that there's parking there for us. There's supposed to be 140 parking spots, but that's it could all be taken by 9:30. A little bit worried about that, but so we'll just have to cross our fingers and hope for the best. Well, I think I've changed my mind. I'm going to stay up here in North Carolina instead. I don't want to end up not finding any parking. It's my biggest fear right now. So it's already eight o'clock. Uh, another 20 minutes down the road, uh, I think it's called Troutman, North Carolina. There's a pilot flying J there, I'm gonna stop there, check it out, and if there's parking, I'm just gonna stay there. Uh, tomorrow we'll sit there, I'm gonna do my laundry, I'm gonna catch up on some computer work, relax, watch some movies or something. And early Monday morning, I guess if we get there in 20 minutes, we'll probably shut down at about 8.30. So 8.30, Monday morning. We'll be on the way again, headed down to Waynesboro with a fresh 70 hour week ahead of us. I'm just gonna say it for good measure. I don't think the 70 hour rule is necessary. If we wanna work, let us work. Limit our let, limit us daily, obviously, but well, hopefully this will be this will be good. We're pulling into the pilot here in uh, Troutsman, I think it's called. Troutsman, North Carolina. And it's 8.21. I'm thinking there should be some parking available for us. What do you think? I'm hoping it's going to be a good spot, though. I don't like taking those... Meters. Keep to the left on Charlotte Highway, Aaron. US 21 and then approaching destination on the right side at 160 meters. I don't like taking those parking spots that are in kind of a sketchy spot where someone's got a back in right beside me and possibly rip my bumper off. But, you know, nobody likes those spots, but someone's got to take them. Either way, as soon as my tires stop here, they will be stopped for the next 36 hours. I only need 34 hours to be reset in the United States, but if I want my reset to be valid in Canada when I return back there, I have to do a 36 consecutive hour reset. Which means I just have to stay stopped for 36 hours and then they give me 70 hours. Your destination on the right side. Pilot Travel Center number 7,976. Yeah, they give me 70 hours to use within the next eight days. Green light, green means go. These people are parking out here already. That's not a good sign. Oh, come on. I thought I was stopping early enough. can't possibly tell me that this parking lot's all the way full already. I don't buy it. People parking all the way out here? Come on. Come on, don't do this to me. 
It's not even dark yet. Oh no, there's park in here. There's park, I see it, okay. I'd like to park where these guys are parked, that'd be nice. Let's see, what do we got back here? All the good spots are taken. Oh, I bet you those other spots are, are paid parking. You gotta be kidding me, everything's full already. See, this is why I didn't wanna drive too late. guy's doing parked there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lovely. That guy's going that way. I think I might see a spot. I think, but I doubt it. I bet you there's somebody in there. I bet you there's a bobtail in there or something. Somewhere right here. Yeah, there's a car hauler. Okay. Why is it all full already? Come on! Oh, that's disappointing. Well, let's keep going around here, see, see what we can find. I mean, I do see some open spots over here. I just don't know if they're, you know, pay to park. Nasty. Pay to park. Yeah, those are all reserve spots, reserve spots, reserve, reserve, reserve. <sighs> this is all reserve parking. All of it. Wow. Oh, wait. How about all the way in the end here? All the way on the end here? No, there's people in there. Everything is full at 8.20. 8.30 and everything's packed. I'm gonna do a couple of loops around here, see if someone pulls out. I don't wanna break my number one rule of never paying to park. But this, I can't, I don't wanna go further. Because if I go further, I might not find any parking at all, and I have to stop. Come on, somebody pull out. Come on. Come on, somebody, somebody pull out. I don't want to pay. I never pay. I paid. What is this world coming to? Trigger Josh paid to park. Great, now they're all gonna use this excuse. Say, see, Trucker Josh did it. Let's do it with everybody. They're gonna make everything pay to park now. I didn't actually use money to do it though. I used my, my Flying J points. I've got a fancy little tag hanging on my driver window here and everything. So I'm not seeing it on everyone else's trucks. Fifteen dollars. I used my points, so uh, it cost me fifteen hundred points. So I didn't pay any cash. So technically, I stayed true to my values, and I didn't pay to park. So there, take that. So we're here now for thirty-six hours. Diesel, thirty-six hours here, bud. Just me and you. Oh, we're gonna have fun. We're we're gonna see if we can go to the park. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna go for a walk. Yep. And spend some time outside. Yep. It's gonna be fun, buddy. Maybe we'll go play some fetch. Maybe go look for some cows. Maybe we'll even see some horses, man. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Horses, they're my favorite kind of dogs, man. They're really big dogs. You got funny feet. I know. I know you love horses. <laughs> but. For now, we're just going to settle in for the night and get a good rest and uh, act like this never happened. Okay, if you CEOs are listening to me right now, don't make everything pay to park just because I did it once. I'm not happy about it. I don't like paying to park. I understand why you do it though. I mean, if I was in your position, I'd probably do it too. I mean, 
money is hard to say no to, right? Can you imagine? Pilot Flying J has what, 300 locations? Probably more, probably like 600. Let's say 300. And let's say they have 10 reserved parking spots at every store. Oh, we're gonna do math. Are you ready for this? Diesel, you ready for some math? Hold on to your britches. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so they let's say they have, let's, let's just ask Google. How many Flying J, no, I gotta say Pilot. How many Pilot Flying J locations are there? Its number of locations oh. is 750. 750. Okay. Well, a little more than we thought. Okay, so let's say they have 10 paid parking spots at every location, and they have more here. I think they have like 20 here. Well, let's average it down to 10. At everyone, 750. That means they have 7,500 reserved parking spots, and each one they get $15 for, times $15. That's $112,000. That's a over that, $112,500 every night. Let's say they sell them out, all of them, all of them, every day of the year, 365 days of the year, times 365. That's $41,062,500 a year just for paid parking. 10 spots per location. And a lot of locations like this one have twice that. They have 20 spots here and they all sell out every night pretty much. So let's average it up. Let's say they had 15 spots. Okay, you ready? You got your thinking caps on. 15 spots at 750 locations on average. That means they have 11,250 paid parking spots and every night they fill up let's say that's $168,750 a day a day just pilot flying J times that by every day of the year and you're you're looking at 61 million five hundred and ninety three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars a year just pilot flying J just for paid parking whoa but like I said, can you blame him? It's not illegal. It's a private business. They can do what they want. They can make it all paid parking if they want to. They could probably pull in, because people will still park. So they could probably pull in, you know, like $300 million a year just by making everything paid parking. So I better be careful how much I complain about this. Because he might just turn around and be like, oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna complain, you're gonna complain. Well, boom, there you go, all paid parking. Please don't do that. Jimmy, Jimmy, buddy, please don't do that. Come on, man. We're not all worth a billion dollars. We don't all have money to spend every night for parking. <laughs> but you got me tonight. You got you got $15 worth of points out of me tonight. You didn't get any cash, but you got those points out of me. So bravo, good sir, Mr. Capitalist, Mr. Monopoly man. You got me. You know? My truck's dinging at me, it's telling me to shut up. Okay, so we're gonna end the vlog here. <laughs> Take care, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow.